Hi everyone, I have another theorem in abstract algebra to prove for you. This one says that in a finite cyclic group, the order of an element divides the order of the group. There's actually a more general theorem to this that maybe I'll prove later, but right now I'm just going to prove the finite cyclic group case. So let's just take some group, some finite group G, and it's a cyclic group, so it's generated by A. Well, since this is finite, and A generates it, A has some finite order. We'll call it n. And just remember that that means that A raised to the n power is equal to the identity element. Well, if G is generated by A, and the order of A is n, that means that there are n elements in G, or that the order of G is also n. Okay, so these are just kind of some facts that you should realize about a finite cyclic group. Okay, now what did we want to show? We wanted to show that any element in this group will divide the order of the group. In other words, we wanted to show that any element will divide n in this case. So let's just take any old element in G. We'll say B. Take an element B in G. Well, since B is in G, and G is cyclic, I know that B has to be some power of A. Say A to the K for um, K, we'll just say K bigger than 1 but less than N. Because K to the, or A to the first is A, and A to the N is the identity element. And um, I need to make a little bit of room here. Actually, I think I'm okay. Okay, so we have that B is some power of A to the K. Well, that means that the order of B is equal to the order of A to the K. And by a theorem I proved in one of my previous videos, we know that the order of A to the K is equal to N divided by the greatest common divisor of N and K. Right, that's just a very important theorem that's used for a lot of proofs. Um, so let's see, n divided by, GC, by the GCD of n and k. That's just going to be a number, right? It's going to be a whole number. I'll call it j, where j is in natural numbers. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. I could rewrite this. Maybe I need a little more room. I'm going to go up here. If I multiply both sides by the GCD, I would have n is equal to j times the GCD of n and k. Well, all that means from number theory is that n is a multiple of j, right? If I multiply j by itself, or by, if I multiply j enough times, I'll get n. All this means is that j divides n since j is a multiple of n. Well, hey, if you look at this equation, the order of b was equal to j. So what we have here, finally, is that j divides n, but j was the order of b. So the order of b divides n. But remember, n was the order of the group. So the order of any element divides the order of the group. And our theorem is proved. Hope you enjoyed that example. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below and have a great day.